What's up, gang? Headed to the gym earlier than usual because we got the kids Nogi class today. Class number one. So the two Gi guys are gonna be teaching some Nogi classes to the kids. I think today's class will just start off with something simple. Maybe arm drag. That, I'm not a takedown guy, but I can kind of work that arm drag. I don't, I don't think I ever pulled it off when I roll with anybody, but I know the mechanics. So I can do the arm drag to the back, maybe to a takedown. And if we get enough time and they catch on quickly, maybe we can do a back take. We'll kind of see how that, how that plays out. But anyway, so one of the things that I was kind of thinking about, right, what's the, what's the biggest differences between gi and no gi? besides the obvious, right? One where you're wearing a gi and one where you're not. I think for me, I think the biggest is the speed of the of the, of the the game, right? What do you think, Carl? Mm, yeah, the speed is different, I guess. Um, also, it's not as easy to hold somebody down. Yes, agreed. Yeah, and it's easier to escape a bit. I think, and I think for adults, the modern, the modern Nogi game is all leg attacks. Like a huge, huge portion of it is leg attacks. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Maybe not at the highest level, but when we watch local comps, Nogi, the where the leg attacks are, are uh, I mean, even allowed. Even at the highest level. Yeah. Uh, that's one part of my game that I think I need sharpening up on is the leg attack. I have a general idea how to defend it, but I'm not, I don't have a lot of the entries and attacks and things like that, right? Because we don't practice no gi. We don't practice no gi. I think we probably should practice, but I mean, it's just trying to work it into the schedule, yeah. Uh, I think it's better that we started and had a gi foundation that way it, it kind of aids your no gi it's hard to like some stuff might be no gi to gi but even one of my friends a couple of my friends that i know that do no gi they say oh this is so tough because i don't know how to deal with that grip right mm -hmm. but then you can it's like playing gi just to just take out some of the things that come with the gi right and you're just doing jiu-jitsu so yeah but that transition from no gi to gi is a little bit harder in my opinion it's true yeah because in no gi i mean you can only hold you can only grip somebody's wrist for so long but in gi i mean once i lock onto your your sleeve i mean i can hold on to that for a long time yeah i can control the pace you know so a more explosive person, I can kind of lock them down a little bit, but in no gi, there's not that option, yeah? So. I like no gi every once in a while. It's fun. It's been a little while since I've done no gi, but you're right, it is fun. It, you, you get to see a lot more transitions, I feel, you know, because you kind of hold people and you kind of lock them down. You have to transition, you have to move around, you kind of get comfortable with heavy movement versus trying to pin, control, lock down. We'll see. Should be fun. I think it'll push us to understand no gi a little bit better too as we as we go on the journey with the kids, yeah. So I think it's a good push. So five o'clock no gi for kids, six o'clock gi for kids. 7 o'clock gi for adults. So Wednesday night, full schedule. I like it. I love it. This is what we do. This is our passion. So, yeah, let's get it. All right, guys. Another small man jujitsu. Catch you on the other side. Stay on that grind. Us.